and in this video we're going to talk about all 33 fish inside of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. You might be saying, hey wait wait wait, I thought there were 50 fish. We just had the update and there's some new things with the update, new skins, stuff like that. But when we're talking about this video, we're talking about collections. You can look at the update of the new skins and those things in my last video. Alright? So with this, we're going to talk about all 33 fish and their locations. So, I'm going to go through these and tell you, show you where they're at. Some have special requirements, some are very easy. Um, and I'll tell you which one, in my opinion, I feel like is the hardest. Alright, so starting out, number one. The orange flopper. Found anywhere. Easy. It's a regular fishing rod. If I don't, if I don't say anything like you need a pro fishing rod, which is the blue fishing rod or a certain location then it's just anywhere so number two is the green flopper anywhere number three is your blue flopper found anywhere just a regular fishing rod or a harpoon gun then the black and blue shield fish number four found anywhere so easily found anywhere with just a fishing rod or a harpoon a gray fishing rod normal common now with the black striped fish for coastal areas found in coastal areas so with this is you can use a regular fishing rod or a harpoon gun but what you're gonna have to do is go on the outside so my suggestion is a coastal area like right around here in craggy um, right over here by rainbow rentals you know um, would be a good idea um, just around the edge of the map in a coastal type of area right around the coast okay it's my suggestion you can try to find it in a um, different coastal area, but those are where I would suggest to go. Next, moving on, the green shellfish. Found in forest areas. Again, regular fishing rod. You say, where's a forest area? Forest area is going to be located anywhere from like right here at this bridge. Just follow up Weeping Woods. Hit that whole area right there is that forest area. You can get a fishing rod like right here at, at Slurpee, like right at the edge of the pier, and head this way and just hit up every fishing area along the area and you should get it. No problem. Okay, that's the green shield fish found in forest areas. So if I say forest areas, then you're talking about Weeping Woods area. Pink shield fish, consumed for juicy shields, found anywhere. So you can find this anywhere on the map, you just need the blue fishing rod, the pro fishing rod. The easiest place to get a pro fishing rod is going to be at Craggy Cliffs, right in these buildings right there. You know, you're going to find tons of pro fishing rods, okay? So that's what you're going to want to do to go anywhere. For anything that requires a pro fishing rod, you can almost guarantee yourself a pro fishing rod. There's so many in that building um, there in Craggy Cliffs. Next, number eight. The light blue shield fish found anywhere. Simple. Regular fishing rod. Blue slurp fish found anywhere. Regular fishing rod. Easy. That's number nine. Moving on to number ten. Consume for juicy health or shield found in swamp areas. So the yellow slurp fish, you don't need a pro fishing rod, just a regular fishing rod. Swamp areas are gonna be over in the swamp areas. Any of the fishing areas over here. I like using the fishing holes, not just fishing in the regular water. Your choice. Next, moving on, number 11. Mountainous areas found the purple with just a regular fishing rod in a mountainous area. So with the mountainous area, we're going to be talking about right here in this lazy lake area is great. There's tons of fishing rods and also this a misty meadow area will count all the way over to here. Mountainous areas can also find over here is going to be a mountainous area will work for you as well my suggestion though is right here right here will be my best suggestion for that as far as mountainous next you move on to found near coastal areas found at night so coastal areas that's again once around the edge of the map and you need to find it at night so the game you know rotates day and night during your match so you have to find it at night it makes it a little difficult but you know if you go in the coastal area near craggy 
and just kind of wait till the nighttime. Keep fishing in the fishing holes, and you'll be good. You'll find it. Next, moving on. This is one of the hardest fish to get, the white slurp fish. Because you need a pro fishing rod, and you have to find it in the swamp area, and it has to be at night. So this, to me, is the hardest fish to find in the game. So what I mean by that is not only do you have to get lucky enough to find a blue fishing rod where there are not that many fishing barrels here in Sludgy Swamp, but it also has to be nighttime in the game, and it also has to be in the swamp area. So, I mean, you got a lot of things that you have to do it only here at night and with the pro fishing rod. So it's, to me, it's the hardest fish to find in the game. But that is how you do it. You get a blue fishing rod and you have to get it over here and it has to be nighttime. Moving on. That will be the hardest one to find in my opinion. Number, if you get lucky and you already found it, great. Now light blue small fry, just found anywhere with the regular fishing rod. Tan small fry, found anywhere, regular fishing rod. Found anywhere for the purple top small fry, number 16, found anywhere. 17, found at night. So the black small fry is found at night. Don't fish in fishing holes to find this. Fish in just the regular plain water with a regular fishing rod at night and you'll find it. You can find it anywhere, it just has to be at night. But don't fish in the fishing hole. Fish anywhere in the water around a fishing hole for these small fries, for all of these small fries. So then next you got the blue, sp blue small fry found in coastal areas. Doesn't have to be at night, so you could just use a regular fishing rod and you find this around the coastal areas, like I said earlier, if you forgot, or right around here. There's tons of fishing around this. That's a good coastal area. This is literally my favorite area when it comes to coastal fish. And then over here is good as well. Like Rainbow Rentals, there's a few spots there. But I would suggest just going back here. You can hit up six, seven, eight, nine spots there. Ten spots or so around this island right here. Like... That's my best suggestion. Moving on. We're going to go to the next um, next fish in the book. Slurp jellyfish, our next fish in the cl collection. Found anywhere. Easy. Slurp jellyfish. Found anywhere. Just use the fishing rod. Now, the pearly jellyfish. So, found mountainous areas and it requires a pro fishing rod. This is really not that difficult, and I'm gonna tell you where I feel like the best area to go. Mountainous area, and I, I particularly caught this fish here myself. Just like once the update came up, and it showed the fish that were remaining, and, and I decided to take the fishing book serious. Or like actually finish it, I guess. I didn't really take it that serious. If you want to get all your collections done though, come over here, this is your spot. Land here, fishing rods, fishing rods. There's a fishing rod there. Get a fishing rod, a pro fishing rod, okay? Requires a pro fishing rod and that's your mountainous area. Right there is the spot to be. You're gonna get, you know, it might take a couple of games to get a blue one, um, but you can just fish right there and you're good. Next, the purple jellyfish, found in coastal areas. So you just need to, Use any type of fishing rod or harpoon gun around the edge of the map. Again, by Craggy will be my suggestion. Found at night, the dark vanguard jellyfish. So, you know, use any type of fishing rod and just find this at night. Number 23, found in swamp areas. So, in your swamp area, which is your sludgy swamp, that's your only swamp area. Just a regular fish, you can find it in just the swamp area you don't need anything special then you have found anywhere the same thing with the shadow flopper easily to find with the regular fishing rod or a harpoon gun same thing with the blue shadow flopper same thing with the green shadow flopper and same thing with the pink shadow flopper just anywhere with the harpoon gun or blue um or, or regular fishing rod sorry and then you have the teal shadow flopper which is number 28 same thing, very easy. Moving on, 29. Find it anywhere. Very easy, regular fishing rod. Number 30, forest areas. So if you want to find the drift spicy fish, 
you're going to have to go to the forest areas. It doesn't have to be a special fishing rod, but you're going to have to start. And I would suggest just go right along this path, hit every fishing hole, and that's going to be your forest area. That's going to be the best way for the drift spicy fish. And then moving forward from that, we have the white spotted spicy fish um, mountainous areas, okay? You don't need anything special, just go to the mountainous areas. I've already showed you my favorite mountainous area spot. It's going to be right there, boom. I mean, you can choose to take it all the way up to there. Um, you can choose to also do it at Misty. It's going to be a mountainous area. It's going to count. Okay, moving on, number 32, the southern spicy fish found in swamp areas. Just a regular fishing rod or a harpoon gun in a fishing hole any time of day. You're good, southern spicy fish. Sky blue spicy fish found in coastal areas. So along the edge, and like I said, my favorite spot for that would be craggy cliffs. And yeah, so that's the entire fishing book. And hopefully, you know, this guide helped you out in case you're working on any difficult fish. I definitely feel like number 13 is probably the hardest. Um, but yeah. So, other than that, um, with the collections, number 22 and 23, you are able to get now as far as the NPC. So, I already have number 17, which is the Cube Assassin. I already have it. It just keeps glitching in and out. But number 22 and 23 are, you know, if you're going to get 17, use your, have your friends help you. It makes it much easier. And you find it inside of the sideways. Just sometimes she spawns, sometimes she doesn't. Now, NPC 22 and 23, those are going to be easy to find. All you're going to do is go to punch cards. They were just added with the 18.20 update. You pin, you just click on it to pin it. And it will show you it's located down here. So, boom. All you do is come down here and he will be at this building and you're you're good to find that's dire okay now I'll go into the collections and you want to find the other one 22 and 23 you want to make sure to complete all of them and do the punch cards get the extra XP um, with that being said you're gonna want to go and you just click on Ragsy Ragsy is gonna be found right here at risky reels and then you'll be able to complete her punch card and get her activated and then you will have the collection for NPC maxed out if you do all of the other NPCs that you already have. So um, I already made a separate video on those. If you want to take a look at it, I'll leave an end screen um, to that video. And also, uh, yeah, to, to another good video that can help you guys out. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. With that being said, um, this is Brembo GG's and I am out. Peace.